Hello, all my beautiful YouTube friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please watch the entire beginning of this video. I have some announcements for you guys. First off, if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can now visit my website at www.powerlifehypnosis.com. Again, that's www.powerlifehypnosis.com. On my website, check out the readings page. On the readings page, there is a complete list of all readings being offered right now, including general readings. So if you have anything specific, you can go ahead and ask me and I would be happy to accommodate you. And under each description for the readings, I have direct links to book your readings. So now everything is very, very easy and very, very simple. You can go to my website, choose a reading, book it, and then I will just go ahead and send it to you and nothing more needs to be done. So go ahead and check that out. I'm very excited to be bringing this simple new way to book a reading with me to you. Also check out the subliminals page on my website because under the subliminals page, I will be showing you all some results, some subliminal results of mine that I'm very excited to bring to you. I'm not going to completely mention it yet because I do somewhat want this to be a surprise. And um, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Uh, over the last few months, I have been changing my eye color. And I know that it's very difficult to see because from the vision that you're seeing of me with this camera, I'm believing that you're just seeing a darker um, color to my eyes. My eyes were born i was born with dark brown eyes and i have actually changed my eye color to amber so they are still brown but they're not the same brown as before and i've just started this journey i'm still in the beginning so i'm going to be posting some pictures of my subliminal results on my website as well as um the link to my selfie store where you can download my subliminals for yourself to listen to offline because last month i did put up some subliminals and i've been receiving some amazing amazing uh feedback for them and i'm really excited about the subliminals that i'm introducing to you guys i'm introducing subliminals for therapeutic reasons right now to help you heal from issues regarding narcissistic abuse to help you heal with trauma and pain and difficulties and uh Things surrounding these themes so this is what I've been posting so far I have many more things that I can post I am very into biokinesis which is the ability to change your body with your mind and with your subconscious mind so I will be posting some results on my website very very soon I see that you can somewhat see the lightness in my eyes but it's very difficult to see um, when you're not looking at me in person. So I'm going to have to uh, show you guys a picture. So I'm doing this because I want to show you all that subliminals really, really work. If one can change their eye color with using subliminals, I want to show you guys that if this is possible, then you guys can get over whatever issues, whatever difficulties, whatever pains that you have been experiencing, whatever setbacks that you have experiencing. You can get over whatever self-limiting beliefs, whatever thoughts, whatever fears that you have. Any problem that you are having, it's possible to get over this problem. It's possible to move forward and heal these issues just by using the power of your mind. And that is what I am introducing to you guys with these subliminals. So check on my website, www.powerlifehypnosis.com. On my website, I will be putting up some subliminals. I will also be uh, putting the link for my selfie store where you can download these subliminals because unfortunately the ones that I have posted online do have affirmations that make them um, not work when they are downloaded um, and when they are pirated. Unfortunately, the affirmations are not going to work. So you can download my subliminals. And during the month of October, I'm actually doing a special in which my subliminals will be available for 50% off. I only started changing my eye color a couple months ago. Um, I really started at the very end of July. However, I didn't know which direction to take it in. I was first going to Hazel and then I decided to change my eyes to Amber because Amber is one of the most rare eye colors in the world. The most rare eye colors are apparently green and amber. So I want to show you guys if I can change my eye color to Amber, which is the most rare color in the world besides green, then 
you all, especially you, you in particular can heal from whatever ailments, whatever difficulties that you feel are holding you back. And if you don't feel like anything's holding you back, you can attract whatever it is that you've been wanting to attract into your life with using the power of your mind. I'm here to help you do it. That is my goal. That is my mission. And I'm really excited about these things. I am also a certified master hypnotist. So I have over a year study. I have very extensive, extensive. I also have a um, psychology degree. So I am a psychologist and I am a certified hypnotist. And with hypnotism, we learn how to speak to the subconscious mind. So I have extensive training over a year to help you speak to your subconscious mind. And I have extensive training to speak to the subconscious mind in a way to make real changes happen. So I'm really excited to bring these things to you guys. I didn't mean to go into this whole long-winded uh, speech, but thank you for listening. And I am actually going to make this a announcement. I wanted to do an announcement. So I'm actually going to make this announcement. So going into your reading won't be very, very long. So thank you so much for listening to this uh, introduction into the reading now turned into announcement. Please check out my website again, www.powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also contact me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. I will be happy to um, speak to you and answer any questions. Also, if you'd like to book a reading with me that way, you can do it with me that way as well. Um, so I'm very, very excited to be bringing these things to you. Uh, since this has actually just turned into an announcement, I have some other things that I wanted to share with you guys. I will be actually putting up some more narcissism awareness videos uh, very soon. During the month of October, I will be putting up many more subliminals for you all to help with these issues regarding narcissistic abuse and regarding abuse in general and trauma in general. I'm going to be putting up um, a lot of subliminals to help you heal with these, heal from these issues. During the month of July, I did my first announcement in which I asked you all for issues that you have been dealing with because of, you know, a narcissistic partner or because of narcissistic abuse. This was in regard to the Aries July reading. So I did do an initial announcement. And in that announcement, I did ask everyone for the issues that they have been dealing with from their relationships or from narcissistic abuse or just from experiencing narcissism and narcissists in their lives. I have asked you guys all what issues have you been experiencing? So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the things that you guys told me that you needed assistance with, and then I'm going to go and make subliminals for you all in order to help you with these issues because I feel like that is just so, so important. And it's just beautiful to see how things can be changed so easily, how trauma can be healed so easily. Lifelong things can be healed so easily by using the subconscious mind. Because for those of you um, who are not very familiar with the subconscious mind, the way the subconscious mind works is it works like the subconscious mind is like an iceberg. The subconscious mind is like an iceberg. So we have what is going, I'm sorry, not the subconscious mind, but the mind in general is like an iceberg. So at the top of the iceberg, we have the conscious mind. And the conscious mind is where we have our logic, our reasoning, our willpower, our decision-making abilities. However, the conscious mind is only 12% of our total mind power. Therefore, the additional 88% of our total mind power is our subconscious mind. And our subconscious mind is where we hold all our memories, our feelings, all, all the things that make us who we are. Our entire way of looking about the world is based on our subconscious mind. You know, when we're born, we're born with just a primitive mind and that rules our fight and our flight responses. However, as we age and as we grow and as we get older, from the ages of zero to eight, we begin taking in new information like a sponge. And this is how we learn. This is a process of learning. So from the ages of zero to eight, we end up just taking in information, taking in information, and we learn what things are through identification and association. For example, if a little boy touches a hot stove and he burns his hand, he burns his hand, then he's going to see, okay, I see that this is a stove. You know, I'm going to associate this with the time I burn my hand. This is hot. Don't touch the stove. He's going to learn what that item is. So from the ages of zero to eight, this is how we learn about the world. And this is also how we learn about ourselves. For example, if we have adults 
in our lives who are telling us that we're useless or that we're good for nothing or that we're stupid or that we're, you know, whatever the, the horrible messages that people can get during their childhood. Um, if we receive these messages during the ages of zero to eight, when we don't know any better, we're going to take this in as fact. And then a lot of the time, what we're going to end up doing is associating ourselves with whatever these adults tell us. So if adults tell us that we're stupid, we're going to end up seeing, thinking that we're stupid, or we're going to end up, you know, this somehow has an effect on us and it manifests. For example, um, for people who say that they're not good at drawing like me. Um, you know, I've never really thought that I was good at, at drawing. However, anybody can be good at drawing. Really, anybody can be good at drawing. And at one point in my life, I did take the time to try to learn to draw. And I was actually a pretty good drawer. But I still have in my subconscious programming, you know, that, and this is, I'm sure, from um, school back in the day, elementary or something, you know, I, it's been programmed in my mind that I'm not very good at drawing. And that's just something that I believe. So that's something that turned into a self-fulfilling prophecy for me. You know, I try my best, but I'm just not as good as other people can be. Um, I'm okay with it, but that is different from if it's something like who I am at my core, say I say I may have gotten messages or, you know, if someone gets messages when they're younger that they are good for nothing, or that they're stupid or that they um, can't speak well or anything, you know, um, that they're worthless, that they're whatever messages, you know, if you get these messages when you are younger, then when we don't know any better, these messages go in, they sink into our subconscious and they stay there. And this is what we learn. And then we, you know, identify with this in whatever way, even if we don't fully consciously in our conscious mind that 12 percent, even if we don't consciously, you know, say that about ourselves and think that about ourselves subconsciously, these things make an impact. So the subconscious mind is 88 percent of our total mind power and it's funny, I didn't even plan to make this a um, announcement, so I'm just kind of talking here, but these are things that I wanted to, you know, to, to share with you guys um, uh, uh, about the way the mind works. So we have this 88% that makes up our subconscious mind. However, we also, between our conscious minds, so from the ages of zero to eight, we are learning about ourselves, we're learning about the world, and that's where our total, you know, frame of mind comes from, and it really forms during that time. So by the time we get to about age eight, we develop something called a critical mind. And our critical mind is the buffer between our subconscious mind and our conscious mind, which develops around the age of eight. We develop the logic, the reasoning, the, the, the willpower. Um, we develop these things around the age of eight. So that happens once our critical mind forms. And our critical mind is the buffering system between our subconscious, I'm sorry, between our conscious and our subconscious, because we can't have everything go into our subconscious mind all the time, because that would just be an overload for us learning information and just in everyday life when we are walking through life very suggestible suggestible and this can happen uh you know we can open up our our minds uh in many different ways um and this is a lot of what hypnosis is based on so we have our critical mind here and what happens is with subliminals and the reason why subliminals work so well is what subliminals do is they are able to penetrate the subconscious mind and it doesn't have to bypass the critical mind because what happens is and the purpose of the critical mind is to again create this buffer between our subconscious mind and our conscious mind so when we want to change a thought and when there's something that we want to put into our mind for example with me and my eyes changing them to the color of amber so if I just consciously say my eyes are amber, that's not going to work. You know, if I consciously just say, okay, my eyes are amber and I want to tell myself that, that's not going to work because I know that, you know, for however many years I have been alive, my eyes were dark, dark, you know, dark brown. So almost, you know, pretty much black, what they consider to be black, brown, because there's a lot of melanin in my eyes because there's a lot of melanin in my skin. So the way subliminals work is they bypass that critical mind and the critical mind again acts as a filter so what happens is 
because I'm using subliminals to change my eye color, because I'm using subliminal programming to introduce, um, you know, these things for you and these healing messages and, um, you know, these programs to you all, what happens is the critical mind opens up and the subliminals are able to bypass the critical mind and they're able to bypass, you know, that buffer. So whatever messages are put into subliminal programming, and I know many people know, um, you know, the government has been using subliminal programming for many, many decades. Um, what, what happens is it bypasses the critical mind and it goes straight into the subconscious mind. And by going straight into the subconscious mind, you know, you, you don't, you critically, I'm sorry, you uh, consciously don't perceive the messages. So they're able to go straight into your mind and with enough repetition, with enough repetition, you're able to instill a new thought into your mind. So basically the, the process of what's going on, for example, with my eyes is that I'm putting in these messages enough times to where by telling myself over and over again that my eyes are amber, and by doing this, it is essentially replacing all the messages that have been in there for, you know, several decades saying that my eyes are brown and now my eyes are changing to a different color. It's see, I'm, I'm trying to move around so you can kind of see. Um, I know it's very difficult. Um, let's see if I can get closer and kind of show um the difference if i can figure out how i can maybe put a another picture do a picture and picture of my eyes before but if you can imagine dark dark eyes um my eyes are very different from that now and especially especially in person i wish i had a light i can actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to actually use my cell phone and see if i can um create a light for you guys so you can see this better okay So you can kind of see the difference in my eyes versus um, dark brown versus just dark black brown. They're very light, um, especially in person. If you can see here, they're very light. And um, you can actually see my limbo ring, which is the dark ring around the eyes. So before, it was very difficult to see any type of uh, distinction between my pupil, between my pupil and my iris and my, you know, my limbo ring. It was just a dark circle. But now you can see, let's see if I can find a really good angle. You can see that my eyes are now much, much lighter. And these are my, you know, natural eyes. I'm not wearing contacts or anything like that because that would defeat the purpose. So. That is what I have for you guys. And, you know, of course, the process is going to take some time. Um, but this has only been a few months. And in person, you can see that they're actually very, very uh, light. And it's really, really interesting to see. Um, so these are my subliminal results so far. Um, this has actually been after doing my eyes amber for about a month because before I was doing something different. I was doing, um, I was going to hazel just because I wanted to see how the process was. But then I realized that, um, I realized that I wanted to do this for a bigger purpose, not for aesthetic reasons, uh, to show that if somebody can change their eye color using subliminals, you know, it's a lot easier to heal from trauma than it is to change one's eye color. You can just walk into a therapy clinic and, you know, talk about your issues. Or you can walk into a therapist's office and talk about your issues and heal from things. But you can't walk into a, uh, you know, therapist's office and change your eye color. So it's very, very interesting, um, the things that the mind can do. So... That is, uh, I guess, my little spiel and what I have to say for you guys. So these are my subliminal results so far, which I totally didn't mean for this video to uh, come out like this, but I'm happy that I was able to uh, show all these things to you guys. And for those of you who haven't seen Amber Eyes before, um, they range very, very, there's a very large range when it comes to Amber Eyes. For example, Amber can be dark. Um, they're usually reddish uh, copper. When people have red hair, um, their amber eyes tend to look more, to me, 
personally. They look more orange as though they match their hair. Um, I am uh, very brown and was born with very dark eyes. So my eyes are getting lighter and they are, um, you know, they're still brown, but I'm going to keep going and keep going until they are more and more light. So, um, excuse me, there's somebody out yelling outside my window. So the more you continue to, uh, you know, follow my channel, watch my videos, you'll be able to see that my eyes are going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm so excited to be doing this process because again, I want to show you guys that any issue that you've had, any issue that you're going through, any problem, any setback, any failure, anything you think is not achievable, it is by using the power of your subconscious mind. It is fascinating. I honestly, you know, I am a psychologist, so I have a lot of um, history with psychology and I believe in psychology. I believe in psychotropic medications when used in the correct way, prescribed the correct way. Um, you know, I believe that we don't, I, I, but I also believe that we don't have to take psychotropic medications. So, you know, there are issues that people can heal depression, um, substance abuse, things that people can heal by using the power of their subconscious mind. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I went on for quite a while. Um, that was very, very exciting. Um, if you have anything that you would like to request regarding um, some, you know, therapeutic issues, something that you were going through, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Um, feel free to leave requests in the comment section below. I can also do requests for subliminals as well, which I will put on my website. So if you would like to request a subliminal for me, you can uh, check on my website and I can go ahead or you can email me as well at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com and I can go ahead and put together a custom subliminal for you. I do subliminals for biokinesis. I've also um, done subliminals for, you know, different um, physical things and they work astoundingly. It is something that it is truly, truly, truly amazing. Um, very, very amazing. I can go ahead and I'm not really ashamed to say this. Um, one, the, the first time I realized how very powerfully my subliminals work is when I did one for um, uh, face hair because sadly, women, we have facial hair. It's just a fact and it is what it is. And since I did my subliminals, that is no longer an issue for me. So it's a astounding and life-changing and uh whatever insecurities you have you can get over them with subliminals and not just get over them whatever insecurities you have they can be non-existent if you can imagine any physical uh insecurities you have they could be non-existent anything you need more confidence you need you know what is it that you need let me know send me a comment um email me preferably powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com and i would love to make you a custom subliminal i can make them for different issues um i can do them one issue you know one not issue but matter or subject two three you know i can do combos um email me powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com and we can discuss that i am looking very very forward to introducing um my subliminals to you all um during this month i'm going to be again focusing on more therapeutic ones uh but i will be just bringing a lot a lot of things to you guys because i love subliminals i advocate for them i think they can really change you know the world and change one's life really they've changed my life they you know i've healed from some from you know i've healed from things through using my own subliminals. And that is actually the subliminal that I have posted up for you guys. Um, the trauma, the healing, the abuse. This subliminal I have used, I have gotten, you know, wonderful results in myself. And I have spoken to others, um, a good friend of mine who has gotten very, very good results. Uh, she's She got good results the first time she used them. Um, hey, um, if she's watching. <laughs> so please check these things out. Check out my website, www.powerlifehypnosis.com. Email me, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. And we can see what amazing things we can do in your life with the use of subliminals because you have the power to change your life with the use of your subconscious mind. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate that. I 
look forward to seeing you very, very soon on my channel once again. And I look forward to your email speaking with you. Please check out the new um, love readings that I am actually in the process of posting right now. So please check those out. Check out the subliminals. Thank you again. And I wish you all a very, very wonderful, wonderful month. Bye again.